This video is sponsored by Audible. For a free audiobook, use the link in the description below. Welcome to part 13 of this series where I'm tier ranking all 256 twinborn types from Brandon Sanderson's Mistborn series. This week, only one of the twinborn names comes from the Mistborn adventure game rulebook. The rest were created by myself and other users in the Exploring the Cosmere Discord server. If you're interested in helping name future twinborn types for other parts of the series, make sure you join the server. That'll be linked in the description. Our first twinborn type of this part is Spider. Spiders can use their Allomantic Aluminum to wipe the internal Allomantic reserves of themselves, and they can use their Ferrochemical Duralumin to store connection. Now, as I've talked about before, Twinborn types with Aluminum or Duralumin as their Allomantic ability are basically the gnats of the Twinborn world. They can't really use their Allomancy to do anything, so I'm going to put Spider down in D tier. Next up, we have Pain Bearer. Pain Bearers can use their Allomantic Brass to soothe the emotions of others, and they can use their ferrochemical nicrosil to store investiture. Okay, so Allomantic Brass is a really good Allomantic ability. You can use it to manipulate the emotions of other people and get them to be more likely to do what you want. So that can be extremely good in social situations. We of course see Breeze in Arrow 1 use Allomantic Brass constantly. He pretty much does it without even thinking about it. But ferrochemical nicrosil doesn't seem to be a very useful ferrochemical ability on its own. We don't really know for sure how it works yet. We've seen the medallions in the Bands of Warning. Based on that description, it makes it sound like you store the ability to use other investiture. For instance, when Marisi wears one of the medallions, she's instantly able to start storing her weight in an iron mind. So it seems that the ferrochemical nicrosil is storing the ability to use ferrochemical iron. I know that some people speculate that you can actually store the power power itself rather than the ability to use that power, which would make you be able to modulate the power of your Allomancy. So if that's the case, the Pain Bearer would probably be able to burn their Allomantic Brass and then store that soothing power in the Nicrosil Mind and just have a weaker version of their soothing power. And then at a later time, they'd be able to tap that soothing power and boost their Allomantic Brass as they're burning it. I think we're going to have to Raffo to really find out how Ferrochemical Nicrosil works works for sure. Uh, I don't think that this is a really great combination. Um, I'm going to put this down in C tier. Next up, we have Spook. Yes, this is paying homage to Spook from Era 1. So Spook Twinborn types can use their Allomantic Pewter to increase their physical strength, and they can use their Ferrochemical Tin to store senses. We had some fun this week naming the Twinborn types. Uh, we went with Spook for this one because in Book 3 of Era 1, Spook gets that hemallergic spike that lets him burn Allomantic Allomantic Pewter, and he was already a Tin Misting, so he was able to use both Tin and Pewter for part of Book 3. Now this is very similar to that combination because a Spook Twinborn can burn their Pewter and increase their physical strength, their physical prowess, their sense of balance, their healing factor will go up, uh, and it also makes them much tougher. They're able to take more blows, like get a dueling cane broken over their head and just shrug it off. Um, and then they have their Ferrochemical Tin, which differs from Allomantic Tin because you actually have to store up your senses and you also can store or tap one sense at a time in its own tin mind. Whereas Allomantic Tin, whenever you burn tin, it increases all of your senses at once. So there's some pros and cons of both type of tin. So we saw Spook in Era 1 use Allomantic Tin and Allomantic Pewter in combination and he said that they complemented each other, like they were almost made for each other. And I think that this Twinborn type could be used in a similar way. Now, Spook was a tin savant, so that actually let him be able to hear the movements of people by the subtle movements of wind. And his vision was so sensitive that he had to wear a, like a bandana around his eyes and he had to stuff his ears with cotton because his hearing was so sensitive. So I think the Spook Twinborn type could get to a similar level of senses because with Ferrochemy you can tap as much of it as you want. There's really no limit as long as you have a large store of that since you can tap it all within seconds if you decide to. I actually think that a Spook Twinborn could be even better than what we saw Spook in Book 3 of Era 1 do because 
they can store their senses as well. So they could store their sense of pain and just fight without feeling any pain. So that would make them even more tough than just a normal Alamancer burning pewter. Uh, yeah, I think this is actually a really good combination. I don't think it necessarily has a lot of utility use though, but I'd say that these two powers synergize pretty well. And yes, I saw in the comments, somebody told me I should start using the term synergize. That was a great call. I'll start using it. This is going S tier for me. Next up, we have Sniper. Snipers can use their Alimantic Tin to increase their senses and they can use their Ferrochemical Cadmium to store breath. Ferrochemical Cadmium, so far it hasn't really been proven to be a great Ferrochemical ability. Now, I know that the Ars Arcanum says that you can store up your breath and then you can tap it rapidly and you can basically highly oxygenate your blood and that should make your stamina go up. It's basically like blood doping. Um, so your physical performance could increase greatly. I think that storing your breath would be pretty annoying and possibly really bad because you're hyperventilating as you're storing your breath. It's basically gonna feel like you can't catch your breath, like you just ran a marathon. Now the name Sniper I think is pretty accurate for this type. Like imagine a Sniper Twinborn in Era 2 or or even later eras and they have a sniper rifle and they find a good vantage point and they tap their alimantic tin to be able to see great detail at distances and they could just start tapping their cadmium mine to just not have to breathe at all so snipers in real life they'll hold their breath while they're aiming at their target so that their scope isn't swaying as much well if you can completely cease breathing altogether then you could have an extremely steady scope so i could see a sniper twinborn being an assassin yeah i'm sure there's other uses but that's the main one I could think of. I don't know. It's going B tier for me. Cadmium just isn't my cup of tea when it comes to ferrochemical abilities. Next up, we have Bunker. Bunkers can use their Alimantic Copper to hide Alimantic Pulses, and they can use their Ferrochemical Iron to store physical weight. Ferrochemical Iron is one of the most pragmatic ferrochemical abilities, in my opinion. I love that you can store so much of your physical weight, well, really your mass, in your Iron Mind, and become light enough that falling from any height is basically safe to you. We see Seizid do this when he jumps off a cliff in book two of era one and he lands at the bottom safely. It's an easy attribute to store. Wax in era two walks around basically all the time at three quarters of his normal weight because he's just storing a quarter of his weight in his iron mind. And that lets him just constantly be adding to his weight reserve. You can tap that at a later time to become very heavy. It can add momentum to your blows in a fight. It can make you harder to move. It can let you hold doors shut easier. Yeah, it has like a lot of good uses outside of combat even. And then Alimantic Copper is really good for the Bunker Twinborn because they can burn it and know that they're not being manipulated by uh, emotional Alamancy. And it's also good for a team of Alamancers. When the Bunker's burning it, they're going to be throwing up their Copper Cloud and any other Alamancers within that cloud can burn their Alimantic Metals and the Alimantic Pulses won't show up. And it also hides the pulses made by other forms of Kinetic Investiture. I don't think that these two powers really have good synergy though. I'm going to put this at middle of the road. It's going B tier. Next up, we have Iron Lung. Iron Lungs can use their Alimantic Iron to pull metals, and they can use their Ferrochemical Cadmium to store breath. All right, so once again, we have Ferrochemical Cadmium. Not really my cup of tea, but imagine if the Iron Lung Twinborn was really into diving, or maybe they're like a uh, like a Navy SEAL. They could pull themselves along underwater and just be tapping their breath, and uh, as long as they had enough breath stored up, they could just spend long amounts of time underwater. I mean, they could also use their Alimantic Iron to disarm enemies, right? If they pop up out of the water and just pull on the metal weapons that their enemies have, pull them right out of their hands, that could be pretty useful. Yeah, this is going B tier as well for me. Next up, we have Earwig. Earwigs can use their Alimantic Duralumin to enhance their current metal that they're burning within themselves, and they can use their Ferrochemical Tin to store senses. Now, Earwig is another example of a gnat in the Twinborn world. Their Alimantic Duralumin is useless to them because they can't burn any other Alimantic metals. This is going to D tier. Next we have Vessel. Vessels can use their Alimantic Gold to reveal their past self and they can use their Ferrochemical Aluminum to store identity. Now this is the one Twinborn type from this week's part that is from the Mistborn Adventure Game rulebook. Vessels have the reputation of can literally change personality overnight. That's a very interesting reputation and I don't think there's any truth to it, but it's fun to speculate. So imagine when 
the vessel is burning their elementic gold and they're viewing their gold shadow, which is just a different version of themselves. Basically, if they had made different choices in their past, it's a very surreal experience. Now, if they are burning their elementic gold and their gold shadows up, and then they start storing their identity, what would happen? Could they potentially store the identity of that gold shadow rather than their own identity? This gold shadow is representing them if they made completely different choices in their life. So they're going to have different skill sets, maybe even different ideologies. If they're able to store the identity of that gold shadow, then after they're done burning their elemental gold, they might be able to tap that identity and gain some of those skill sets and ideologies, whatever, and benefit themselves in some ways. I don't really know if it would work that way or not. If it does work that way, then it would be very similar to forgery from the Emperor's Soul when they use soul stamps to uh, basically forge the identity of an object or even a person. I guess if they're forging the identity of a person, it's uh, called essence marks, but yeah very similar. I hope we get to see this Twinborn type in action in one of the future Mistborn eras, but we'll just have to raffo. These two metallic arts powers on their own just aren't very good, but if they work the way that I was speculating, then they do have some great synergy. But until we see it on page, I can't put them high. I'm going to put them in C tier. Next up, we have Warp Step. Warp Step Twinborn can use their Alimantic Bend Alloy to speed up time in a bubble around themselves, and they can use their Ferrochemical Nicrosil to store investiture. All right, as I said earlier, uh, ferrochemical nicrosil doesn't really look like it's that useful on its own, at least what we've seen so far. Uh, Alimantic bend alloy can be very useful. We see Wayne use it a lot in era two. It can be useful for combat situations where you can kind of isolate one opponent if you are fighting in a huge battle. It can also be useful for some utility aspects. Like if you just need a moment to take a breather, you can throw up your bend alloy bubble and just spend some time in there and kind of calm down. Or if you need some time to think before answering a question, you can throw up your bend alloy bubble and formulate your thoughts. It could be very useful in like a debate setting, uh, but fair chemical nicrosil is going to bring it down. So I'm going to put warp step in C tier. Next up, we have Iron Eyes. No, not Marsh. This is just another name that's paying homage to a character. So Iron Eyes Twinborn can use their Alimantic Iron to pull metals and they can use their Ferrochemical Tin to store senses. I don't really see these two abilities synergizing. Maybe you could tap your eyesight while you pull metals towards yourself and that could potentially help you get out of the way in time before they hit you. <laughs> Um, I don't know. Or you could store your ability to feel things or your ability to feel pain. And then even if the metal does hit you as you're pulling it towards yourself, then you won't feel it. But you'd still get injured. So yeah, that's not a very good uh, combination. Yeah, I'm going to put this in B tier and I'm actually going to move bunker up. Let me know in the comments, guys, if you think of any good uses that I'm just overlooking for these Twinborn types. Next up, we have Dusker. Duskers can use their Alimantic Bend Alloy to speed up time, and they can use their Ferrochemical Iron to store physical weight. All right, this is another combination that I don't see having much synergy. I mean, maybe it would, since you can use your Alimantic Bend Alloy to isolate people in a fight. I mean, having Ferrochemical Iron could be pretty useful. If you have enough weight stored up, you can basically tap that weight at strategic times, like when you're doing a downward hammer fist, and that will increase the momentum of your blows and make you hit harder. So, I mean, I guess that could be a pretty good ability. Yeah, I don't know. They're both pretty good abilities on their own, but they don't really combine well. This is just gonna have to be another B tier. There's a lot of B tier Twinborn combinations this week, guys. Next up, we have Firefighter. Firefighters can use their Alimantic Pewter to increase their physical strength, and they can use their Fair Chemical Brass to store warmth. As the name suggests, this Twinborn type would probably excel as a firefighter. Their Alimantic Pewter would make them much more uh, athletic. So they could run into a burning building and they would be able to easily fireman carry whoever's stuck inside out of the building to safety. Burning pewter also lets Alamancers stay up for extended periods of time when they're pewter dragging, basically just flaring their pewter reserve for extended periods. So the firefighter could be helping out for extended periods of time and not even get exhausted. And then ferrochemical brass would be great for a firefighter. If they're running into that burning building, they can start storing all that excess warmth in their brass mind. And having all that excess warmth stored in a brass mind would be great for when they're in frigid temperatures. They could just start tapping that warmth 
and they wouldn't even need a coat or a jacket or anything. We saw Sazed in Era 1 walking around in a loincloth in the middle of winter after the battle at Luthadel with all the Kolos. And yeah, he didn't even feel the cold. I hate to say it, but I think this is another B tier combination. These two powers just don't synergize. They're both pretty good on their own, but yeah, they don't add to each other. Let's see if these last four can make it to the higher slots. Next up, we have Light Eyes. No, not that type of Light Eyes. Light Eyes Twinborn can use their Alimantic Tin to increase their senses, and they can use their Ferrochemical Iron to store physical weight. This week, we just don't have very many combinations that are synergizing very well. I don't really see how burning Alimantic Tin and increasing your senses would help you out at all or benefit you at all when you are storing your physical weight or tapping your physical weight. I mean, maybe it could be useful if you are a scout and maybe you're up on a watchtower, for instance, burning your Alimantic Tin and keeping an eye on the surrounding land. And then once you spot something that should be reported, you don't have to take the stairs down the tower. You can simply jump off and store your physical weight in your iron mind and land safely at the bottom. So I guess it could save you some time in that instance. Yep, yeah, this is another B tier. Next up we have Caress. Caress Twinborn can use their Alimantic Chromium to wipe the Alimantic reserves of a target, and they can use their Ferrochemical Tin to store senses. So when you're using Alimantic Chromium, you have to actually physically touch the person that you're leeching. Whenever you put your hand on them, you can burn your Chromium, and if that other person has any Alimantic reserves within themselves, those reserves will vanish, and the person that got leeched will feel a coldness wash over them. Once again, these two powers don't seem like they would benefit each other at all. This is just another B tier combination. Next up, we have True Sight. True Sight Twinborn can use their Alimantic Tin to increase their senses, and they can use their Ferrochemical Nicrosil to store investiture. Okay, not much to say about this combination. <laughs> they are pretty much going to go straight to C tier, uh, because yeah, Ferrochemical Nicrosil, not very useful on its own. Yeah, this is going C tier. And our last Twinborn combination for this part is Hot Blood. Hot Bloods can use their Alimantic Zinc to riot the emotions of others, and they can use their Ferrochemical Gold to store health. So Alimantic Zinc is very similar to Alimantic Brass. It can basically be used to achieve the same end result. Uh, and then Ferrochemical Gold is one of the fan favorites. It actually won the bracket of the best Ferrochemical Metal. So you can store up your health, and while you're actively storing your health in your gold mine, you're going to feel run down and sick. You're going to feel like you have a cold. If you want to store a lot of your health at once, you're going to be bedridden. We see Wayne talk about that in Era 2. He says that he needs to spend a week or two in bed to be able to heal from one or two bullet wounds. Uh, so in my opinion, Ferrochemical Gold is a little overrated just because of how much of a downside there is to storing it. But I know I'm in the minority on that one. These two powers together, they don't really have much synergy, I'll say. I mean, I guess it could be good to have some health stored up if in case you really piss some people off by toying with their emotions. <laughs> then after they retaliate and beat you to a pulp, you can just heal with your uh, gold mind. Uh, even though these two powers don't have much synergy, I think they deserve at least A tier. And now that I think about it, I think I'm gonna put Firefighter up in A tier as well. All right, there's my final tier ranking for part 13. We don't have any busted Twinborn types this week, which isn't too much of a surprise as that should be the rarest type of Twinborn that we'll see. Those are just my thoughts, of course. I'd love to hear your thoughts of these Twinborn types down in the comments. And here is the combined tier list for the first 13 parts of this series. It is very, very full. We still have three more parts of the series left, so make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you know when the next part drops. And be sure to take advantage of the offer that today's video sponsor, Audible, is offering. You can get any audiobook of your choice absolutely free. All you have to do is use the link in the description below and sign up for an Audible Premium Plus 30-day free trial. After you sign up, Audible will give you a credit, and you can use this credit to get any audiobook in their catalog for free. The best part is that even if you decide to cancel your membership, you'll still get to keep the book. It's yours forever. Being an Audible member 
also gives you access to the Audible Plus catalog, which includes thousands of other audiobooks and podcasts. Audible is one of my favorite apps. I use it every day. I have almost four months worth of listening time. So once again, to take advantage of this great offer and get your free audiobook, use the link in the description below. And big shout out to all the channel members and patrons. Thank you for your support. That's it for this video, guys. I'll see you in part 14.